All right, so we're going a different direction with the videos today. So we have uh, two safes here that we've picked up, barely. This one's about 6,000 pounds. This is a TAN. I believe they're out of Sweden. This would have probably been a, a banker's safe at some point. It came out of a pawn shop. You can see it's got some accessories welded onto it. So it's got a problem where the dials are kind of stiff and it's uh, jammed in the past. So they decided that uh, they weren't going to use the, the safe with the dials anymore. But uh, it is fully functional. Oh my god, this door weighs a lot. Probably a, a ton as they would say. So there's something missing there. I assume that's like a, a time lock or something. It used to have a, uh, a door sensor on it like you have in a house. It's uh, it's thick. I'm not sure if it's a T15 with all six sides are fully armored or if it's uh, a T30. I'm going to check my dimensions and I'll put a, a link to the uh, sales literature for this when I determine what it is down in the description of the video. So it, uh, luckily I got the key to open here. So you can see there's a, a piece missing. And uh, what they did was to disable this, they welded a bolt here to block the operation of the, uh, I guess you call them bolts that come out. There's one There's one on, on the top and the bottom. You can see this has some kind of uh, a uh, relocking system. There's a pin here. So you would see that when this uh, bolt is all the way out, that pin could drop in there. And there's a second one down here. I'm not sure if these are fusible links or what. I guess we can twist it. I just don't want to set it off by accident. There's got to be a, a way all this works. It's mounted to the uh, base of one of the uh, mechanisms here. So this has got a chromer. DBP to uh, lock sets in here. Sometimes you can buy these with a lock, like a, a key and a combination. This one was optioned out with uh, two combinations for whatever reason for uh, dual custody. So I guess they didn't want one person to be able to open the safe on their own. They wanted two people to be able to do it. Has uh, tracking in here for shelves. I only got one shelf, unfortunately. And then it came with a little uh, cash box here for putting in your uh, teller cash. So this one has a uh, Sergeant Greenleaf uh, Group 2 R6700 series uh, lock on here. I don't have the combination for this. I'll have to do a cost-benefit analysis to see if it's cheaper to replace this or to uh, solve whatever the uh, combination is. So that's uh, the TAN safe. We have a bit more modern safe here. This is Access Safe out of Canada. It has uh, one combination. This has got a two hour fire rating on it. I think the Swedish safes are more like an hour and a half. I haven't figured out how old it is. And then you can see the serial number 6307. So if you find this on the back of a truck or in a dump somewhere, give me a call. Because I, I'd like to know where it is. So you can see it's a TL30 series safe. But uh, that only means the front is really heavily armored. The back components, not so much. So you can see it was made in uh, probably 2012. I'm not sure if that's 07, which uh, way that works out. I got to contact Access and talk about this to verify what's going on. So this one was optioned out. This one came out of a uh, pawn shop as well. Before that it came out of a, a jewelry store. And it has a uh, motion sensor. I don't know if it's just a junction box or if there's more to it. And then I think that's a, a fire alarm in there as well. So it had a hole drill at the back. And just had a little bit of a wire way here just to get the wire out. And this one, I was kind of surprised to see that it, the back isn't as nicely built as the tan. Like I imagine this was laying on its face when they filled it with concrete. And uh, this one's about 3,200 pounds. Like I'll put a link to the literature. They don't make this model anymore. They make uh, smaller models. I don't know what the reasoning is behind that. 
just maybe the weight or selling them, I guess. If you can't sell them, there's no point in making them. There's no plinth on this for whatever reason. It's just like right on the floor. It should be bolted down and because it's only TL30 on the front, it should be in like a closed access location because you could go through the sides much easier than you could go through the front. I'm not sure what the spec is for a TL30 on the sides, but it's quite a bit thinner as you can see. Whereas drilling through the front door is a bit of a nightmare because there's probably ball bearings and all kinds of stuff inside of it. Oh, that animal noise you can hear is my uh, squirrel. Let's see if we can get him to come out. No, he doesn't want to come out. Anyway, there's a squirrel that lives in between the uh, window and uh, these boards. And he might come out. He's going to be angry. There he is. Come on. Go. Shoot. Now nah, leave him alone. It's kind of wet out. He'll probably come back in that. Um, yeah, so the back of the uh, tan safe is, uh, it's got a hole drilled through it for the wire. You can see right through there. But it's heavily armored on all sides. I imagine it was a pain to drill that hole. Although it might have came with a hole. I'm not entirely sure. It's got some marks here. I'm not sure if that was uh, related to where it was installed. But it seemed like they might be factory marks. And uh, it does not have uh, pockets for lifting eyes. But uh, it sure would have been handy. I tell you what. This thing was an animal trying to get this off of the truck. And getting it on in the truck. So we had to use a, a telehandler that could carry 10,000 pounds. And we could only get it eight feet into the garage with the telehandler, it just couldn't do it. It was uh, lifting the back of the machine up. This one here, it's like I said, it's half the weight, but it does have uh, threaded holes there so you could put the uh, lifting eyes in it. So that's kind of handy. So I got to figure out what the story is, if it's going to be drilled and tapped, or you just put concrete anchors into the top of this thing in order to move it or what, but there's some it's pretty serious business moving this. So this is a 3,300 pound uh, cart here, power trolley, and uh, it can do the job, it can move this, but uh, the problem you'll find is that this thing is only three wheel contraption, and you really need to uh, have your weight all the way to the sides. So don't try to move the safe with one of these unless you've got like blocks of wood they are bolted onto the plinth because you need training wheels. You only want this thing off the ground by like a quarter of an inch, so just the minimum. You want to have the wood kind of attached to the safe all the time. Otherwise, if this thing cocks to the side a little bit, it's game over. It's going, this thing's going to tip over. It's going to go out the wall and end up in your neighbor's yard. It's very heavy. And uh, the other one was a bit easier to move, it being flat bottom. And also this one with a three inch plinth on it, it's hollow. So you have to reach all the way through to the back in order to uh, support it. I've got some little blocks here that fit between my forks, but they're too narrow. You wouldn't put the safe on there and open the door without having something under the uh, edges of the plinth or on the corners, otherwise it could tip over. So you have to be very careful moving one of these and don't be, be between it and anything that's stationary because you're just going to get smushed if this thing goes over. So uh, I think that's about it for this video. I'll put some description or some links in the description to show you what these are in case you're curious about safes. And uh, this one's kind of neat that it's a, a dual custody safe. So you could have a his and hers dial and fill this thing up with money I guess if you wanted to. The emergency fund or what have you. But uh, the size on the inside is kind of limited because of uh, just how heavy duty it is. But if you bolted this to the floor, you could put this in the middle of the room and not worry about it because it's just as hard to go through any one of the sides of it. Whereas this one, uh, like I said, this one, they would try to tip it over on its face or something and put a handhole in the side or the back of it if they wanted to get into it. So anyway, just uh, thought we'd 
show some safes here. If you're thinking about buying one of these, don't offer very much money because the person who wants to get rid of it probably needs to get rid of it. Like these would have went to the dump if uh, the seller couldn't sell it. The pawn shop actually purchased a bank so they have a nice big walk-in vault now so they they need ways to lock up stuff a little bit but not nearly uh, not everything that is sorry how to put that start over again um, they don't need this style of safe anymore they have some smaller safes that they could put in their vault and still be uh, good so anyway I hope this was uh, informative uh, thank you for watching